In this video, we're going to explore how to find corner points of a feasible set S and plug them into an objective function in the linear programming problem to find the optimal value. So, in the picture over here, we have our feasible set S that looks like it's defined by one, two, three, four, probably five different lines. However, we only need the four corner points that define this feasible set S. So if this is a standard graph, then we can count from the origin going left zero, that means the x coordinate is zero, and going up one, two, three, four, five, we have the point zero comma five as our first corner point. Now let's call that A. I'm going to label these to make the discussion a little bit easier. The next corner point B, we would move right to and up to. So that gives us a corner point or a vertice of 2, 2. The next ordered pair we're looking for is corresponding to the point C. So we go right 1, 2, 3 and up 1. So C is the ordered pair 3, 1. And our last corner point D is right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's the point 6, 0. So now once we found all of our corner points, we need to plug those into our objective function to find which gives us the optimal value. And in this case, the optimal value is going to be a minimum. So in the objective function, we need to replace the x and y values of our ordered pairs into the objective function. So 3 times 0 plus 5 gives us an objective function of 5. The next 3 times 2 plus 2 gives us an objective function value of 8. The next 3 times 3 plus 1 gives us an objective function value of 10. And finally, 3 times 6 plus 0 gives us an objective function value of 18. So we can see here of all four of these objective function values that we received, the, the minimum value of the objective function is 5. That occurs at the corner point 0, 5. So when x equals 0 and y equals 5, the objective function is minimized. If there were a maximization problem, and we were looking for the maximum value of the objective function, in this case it would be 18 when x equals 6 and y equals 0.